In this example, we are going to use Excel to construct a frequency distribution. And you'll see how easy it is to do so in Excel. So here we have a data set. This is the time left for class. So what we're going to do first is you can click anywhere in your data set. Oh, before you start, if your data is not organized, it's always good to organize it in either smallest to largest, ascending or in descending order. This helps you figure out what should be the lower limit and which one should be your higher limit. So you can click anywhere on your data set, click on the insert tab, click on pivot table, make sure that the data range is correct. Then click on existing worksheet and select a cell and click OK. Now you can see the field we have in our table show up here, time left for class. We're going to drag this and put it on rows. Then we're going to drag it and put it on values. Okay, so right now uh, you can see that this is a sum. We don't want a sum. So what we're going to do is in Mac, you will see an exclamation mark right next to the values here. So click on it and select count and say OK. Next, we see our uh, row labels column and we want it to be grouped. So how we're gonna, we are going to do this is we're going to click on it, right click, select group. Now here, um, the reason we sort it is because we can identify what value to use for our lowest um, or starting point. So here, since our value starts from 12, it's always good to use multiples of 10. So we're going to use 10. And since our highest value is 33, um, we're going to use 35. Okay. Now we want it to have a width of 5. So always try to use multiples of 5 or 10 and say OK. Okay, so um, this is how you can easily create a frequency distribution in Excel. So now you can also go ahead and change this column header. Okay. So there you go, you're done.